Okay, so it finished. Uh, by the way, once uh, uh, 2617 milliamps and the other in 2456. By the way, I checked it because this is discharging till 3 volt by the data sheet. You can discharge it till 2.5 volts, so you have more margin. So, probably these cells are really uh, 3000 amps. Uh, I will charge them and test them under load condition. Maybe I will do a 15 amps load and then we check uh, the time and the capacity and if the uh, time is reasonable. Okay, so we can see that the batteries are fully charged. One of them 2800 and the other one is 2000 and almost 600 milliampere hour. Uh, because again it was charged not from 2.5 but from 3 volt up this is reasonable now we will do the uh, load discharge with high current we will try to do it on 20 amps for this I will weld uh, nickel strips to one of the batteries so for that purpose I'm using my uh, portable spot welder, the very powerful spot welder. See my previous video why I recommend on this one. By the way as you can see I've put it in a box so it's more convenient to use it this way. We will remove the probes. I've put batteries inside so there are lithium cells that activate this one. And now we will power it up and use it spots in order to run it. Okay, why well it didn't work? Because the cells are not yet charged. So let's wait for the cells to recharge. The setting is okay. Because I am charging on a, a not very high current, just consuming 2 amps from the batteries in order to keep them alive, so we will wait that it will be fully charged. Okay, it's not yet fully charged, but I think it's okay, so let's do it again. Okay, maybe I will increase the power. Okay, as you can see, already okay. Now we'll go to the other side. I'm using a magnet in order to catch, of course, uh, to catch the metal strip in its place. Now we'll do the same for the positive part. is a little tricky I don't want to, to short anything with this battery it is fully charged now so maybe we we'll do it like this okay one spot very powerful spot is enough so bent it a little like this so now we can consume a lot of power from this strip maybe we'll do it to be shorter I don't need them to be so long at this point okay the battery is fully charged 
Now again, I need to check that the temperature will not increase over 60 or 70 Celsius degrees. It's not good. So this is the next thing to take care of. Okay, so now what I want to do is to connect this temperature meter direct to the cell in order to measure the heat during its heating while discharging uh, with a very high current out. Now in order to be on the safe side I'm using this fuse, this is a car fuse till 20 amps, uh, there is 20 amps fuse inside and I want to have a limit for explosion <laughs> so Okay. <clears throat> On the other side I have already a crocodile so I think eh, 15 amps will be okay for the wire is not thick enough but it's very short so we don't see any issue with it now let's solder this part to the positive of the battery and apply voltage to our electronic load so now I will put it to a 2.5 volts Mm. Ah. Never mind, let's leave it this way. Here. So let's begin this charge with 15 amps, checking the temperature. If it will be up more than 60 degrees, I will stop it. So two amps, six amps, ten amps. Let's see how it goes with ten amps before moving up. Another checker for our current flow. Mm, yes, I will put it here. So we have another reading with reflection. We'll remove the reflection maybe. 
something like this. So we are on 15 amps, already 400 and almost half uh, ampere hour. We have another reading of the unity. The temperature is rising because we are consuming 15 amps. The unity show a little more than 50 amps. The cell is warm now. Not yet very hot, but it is getting warm. Nothing is exploding. So we are already almost 3 minutes. 15 amp, the temperature is of course rising, the cell is getting hot now. I think I will get to uh, 45 degrees, then we will start to maybe uh, draw a little less current and see how it goes. I want to see if the temperature will it will be cold uh, fast enough so 40 degrees this is hot this is hot guys the battery is hot But the 15 amps is continuous and working perfectly and we already almost consume a third of the capacity of the battery. Take a look, it's already almost 1 amp hours. So it is one third of the total capacity. Now I want to see now at this point before it is stopping because it is very close to stop if I reduce the current to 10 amps if it will if the battery will cold a little will get colder so now I am at 10 amps and the temperature is still rising I want to see till what point 36 degree oh this is hot But overall we can consume a lot of current and it goes pretty good. So okay, I don't want to I see that it is still the temperature goes up because it's still a lot of current. Let's move it to 5 amps, see what happens. to see at which point the temperature will start to decrease or not increase. Ah, now it is decreasing, did you see? 47.3 and it is going down. So safely you can consume uh, 5 amps without uh, something overheating. You can see that uh, the cell is now, the temperature is going down and not up as we seen. But we are, we are consuming a lot of current.
Okay, now I want it to, to get cold even more, so I will reduce the color a lot. I will let the cell cool down uh, and then we will try to consume a peak of fire current. So maybe uh, we will fully remove it. Remember the number it, because I'm going to reset it. For now it is a 1.4 ampere hour. So we, we have lost half of the capacity of the cell already. So now let's uh, do the reset for the values. It is hot. <laughs> 